Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is another fancy fold card. It's called a pinwheel tower card and I think you can see why. And it's very easy to create. For this one, I used the Butterfly Brilliant stamp set together with the coordinating Brilliant Wings dies. The paper is from the Butterfly Bijou 6 inch paper stack which sadly has now gone. It sold out really really quickly a little while ago but I'm still using mine up. The card has four panels all of which are decorated apart from the one I've left where I will write my message. The sentiment actually comes from the Peaceful Moment stamp set. When the card folds flat it's the equivalent to a standard size card so will fit into a standard size envelope. It's an unusual design and very popular at the moment. I've no idea who the original designer was but full credit to them for a wonderful card. Let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you're interested in reproducing it take a screenshot so you can refer to it later. I'm using Cherry Cobbler card for my card base this time. Now if your standard card size is 8.5 by 11 inches then you want to place this into your Simply Scoreboard with a long side across the top and score down at 2 and 3 quarters, 3 and 3 quarters, 4 and 3 quarters and 5 and 3 quarter inches. My standard card size is A4, so I'm going to add my metric plate onto my Simply Scoreboard. And I'm going to do the last score line first of all, which is 15 centimetres. I'm doing this because the first half of the scoreboard does not have half centimetre increments. The second half does, however. So I'm going to move my cardstock along and line up my score line with a half centimetre mark. And then I'm going to come back two and a half centimetres for three score lines. Now this means that my actual scores are at seven and a half centimetres, ten centimetres, twelve and a half and fifteen centimetres. I like to use my Simply Scoreboard where I can but of course you can do this scoring on your trimmer. The only cutting required is to notch either end of the half inch section on the right hand side. So I'm just making a slanted cut on the top and the bottom. I can now fold on all the scored lines and burnish them with my bone folder. Now I'm not putting this together just yet but when I do I will add glue to that half inch tab and then fold everything back so it forms a tower. Now I just want to mention that this is one way to make this style of card. There are other ways to do it. For instance you can build your tower completely separate to the first panel. So you'd have a piece of cardstock four and a half inches square or 11 centimeters by 10 and a half centimeters. Score it at each inch increment or 2.5 centimeters and then form your tower. Now if you do this it will be slightly bulkier than if you're going to make it in the way I'm going to show you now but you can overcome that by creating your tower using designer series paper instead. Now obviously instead of the three extra panels that I've got here for my card you will need four all the same size and they will be added to each side of the tower. You could make up your tower and add your panels in place now if you prefer. I personally like to decorate them before I add them. I just find it easier to decorate them while they're flat. This is the Peaceful Deer stamp set. Now today I'm using most of the images and I'm also going to use the Merry Christmas sentiment. I've die cut four basic white panels. And to do these I use the Stitch So Sweetly dies and it's the second size down in this group. 
all the stamping is on basic white card and I'm starting with Cherry Cobbler ink for my first deer. The next two deer are going to be stamped using soft suede ink and these will be coloured with the Stamping Blends alcohol markers. I'm also using the soft suede ink to stamp one set of the antlers. Then there's another little stamp that you can use to add some detail to the back end of the deer if you want to. I coloured the second deer as I did the first one, but I used crumb cake this time. Now these two bottom deers can be punched out using the deer builder punch. I've gone ahead and added dimensionals to the back of all the deer and also to the antlers. Now when I cut out the antlers I left a little piece of white in the middle bottom and this is where I'm going to add my glue and then position these behind the soft suede deer. I'm using soft suede ink to stamp my sentiment down at the bottom of one of the panels. I'll also stamp the little deer that's lying down onto the bottom of another of the panels and that one will be used to write my message for the card. Now I will colour that one using the crumb cake blends. On the other two remaining panels I'm going to use garden green ink to stamp the trees. Now you get four tree stamps of different sizes um, in this stamp set so I'm going to use them all to make the panels just slightly different. I forgot to stamp the antlers on my sentiment panel so I'm going to do that now. I'm positioning my cherry cobbler deer so I know where to stamp them and then I'm using soft suede ink again to stamp them directly on the panel. I'm going to add some texture to these three panels by using the Wintry 3D embossing folder. Now this is actually a set of two, you get the pine sort of needles and then the snowflakes and I'm going to use the snowflakes on all of them. 
and this is how the panels look when they're embossed. I can now position each of the deer onto their own panels. So starting with the red deer on the sentiment panel and then the other two will go on the tree panels. Okay, to make up my panels, I've got my card base that I made earlier. Then I've got three additional panels that I will add to the tower. I've got my white panels I've just made up. And then I've got some of the Peaceful Prints Designer Series paper. Four pieces in one size and four pieces in a smaller size. Now this paper was actually free during our celebration promotion and this is currently running until the end of September 2021. If you make a purchase of £45 then you can choose a free item from the celebration brochure and this is one of the options. Before I add the smaller pieces of paper, I'm going to make up my card. So starting by adding glue to that half inch panel on the main section. Now I'm going to fold this on the second score line from the main panel, so from the bigger section. I'm going to fold it on that second score line, tuck the half inch tab underneath and press it down. And this is the easiest way to make the tower. I can now add each of the remaining panels to the tower and to do this I'm just going to apply glue to one of the sections on the tower. Then I'll take the panel and I'll butt the side edge up against the panel that's already there and press it down onto the glue. Then I can squish the card and give it a good press down and continue with the next panel. Once all the panels are positioned, I can add the paper.
to finish off the card I'm going to add a couple of our basic rhinestones to the embossed snowflakes on the tree panels. When I embossed them I made sure that a small full snowflake was up high so it would be between the trees and that just finishes the card off nicely. And here is my finished card. It's very unusual. I love this design. And really each of these panels would make an individual card if you wanted them to. So it folds flat nicely. It will fit in your envelopes. And here's another look at my original card. And all the panels. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.